Welcome back everybody to more everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Today we're going to look at custom clubs. Someone's asked me to do a little quick guide, so we're going to do that. So you get your custom clubs at rank 7. This guy appears with his truck, and um, he's the guy you go talk to. So he All gives right. you five options. Upgrade your club set, so if you've got a set of custom clubs, this is where you go. Repair a custom club set, so if you play with them enough, they'll break them for 10 gems. He'll fix them up for you. Also for 10 gems, you can change the shot sound effect. So if you wanted to make a different noise when you hit the wood, that's the place to go. You can also purchase another club set. You can use two sets at the PlayStation Store for money, and you can buy two sets in here for gems. Or finally, you can recycle a set of clubs that you've got. And we'll come on to that a little bit later. What we're going to do is upgrade my clubs. So I've got 58 gems. So I should be able to do a couple of levels. So I've got two sets. Level 21 power set there, you can see. Adds 84 yards. It's got 11 upgrades out of 10. And I've got this set that I've just freshly recycled. So it's completely reset to zero. So these ones I can't upgrade. Won't do anything. As you can hear. Can't do any more with that. So you can't do more than 11 upgrades. And um, these I can upgrade. So if I select them, I can upgrade for power, which is primarily what I'm interested in. You can upgrade for control, so that basically tweaks your control stat. You can upgrade for backspin, so you could have you know massive backspin on your on your shots. And you can also upgrade the backdoor ability. And these get added to your club skill. So 10 gems, no matter what you choose, um, and you can pick up to 10 of these upgrades. So we can use our gems for 10 gems, or we can use S tickets, which you can buy for money. We're going to use gems, he says, are you sure? You say yes. He then gets out his rag and his polish, nice. and he appears to We've just clean his clubs. There. Take that. Now the RNG kicks in, and you either get one, two, or on three levels per upgrade. So I've got one here, a oh, yeah, total of one. And it's random, you don't know. Now if you save them, um, let's say you save the game and you recycle the club, you get the same every time, so it's predetermined what you'll get. Um, whether it's, you know, if I pick 10 power, I always get 10 power even if I reload the save back in. But I'm going to upgrade again. Thanks. So if you weren't time interested in work. power, you could there. max them out for power, see what yep. upgrades you get, max them out for control, Love max them out for backdoor, max them out for spin, figure out what yes. all of those things are by you know, using all your gems to work out what levels you get and then you can pick the, the right thing you've got but fundamentally you can't increase nice. the power that you've got um, this thing will have whatever power it's got so I'm going to keep going, I've got two that time you always get one level, you never get zero but you get up to three so let's give it another ten gems let's see what we get this Thanks. time time for work there <laughs> On one. I'm on a roll. You're gonna get a second. Yeah, yes. that's good. Oh, that's how we do two it. Levels. So we've done three upgrades and we're at level five. Never gonna get to the max cap there. The level cap is 25, by the way. You might think it would be 33 if you can do 11 upgrades and get three each time, but it actually caps at 25 Jeez. for power. We'll handle this. My other set are level there. 21. <laughs> Get one. All right. oh, Good. That's all we got. So these aren't going to be a great set of clubs. However, you can't recycle them until you get to level 10, which is a bit disappointing. So if I try and recycle them now because they're not going well, well, let me do it. So you've got to get them to the 10th upgrade before you can recycle them. Oh, I can recycle these, but I'm not going to because they're level 21. So how did I get that 11th upgrade? Because this guy will only go to 10. Well, it turns out he's got a mate. Thanks again. Um, you do find this out. I think it reveals it to you when you're upgrading. But there's a guy who lives down on the beach. Let's go see him. And if you've got 10 out of 10 upgraded clubs, oh, you, you can enhance your clubs. So obviously you can't upgrade those because they're fully upgraded. But you can't upgrade those yet because they're only at 4 out of 10. So you can't do that yet. And again, it's only 10 gems, but it gives you that final one. This is an optional one, though. So you could you recycle later. at 10 out of 10 and not spend the extra 10 gems. So for 100 gems, you could fully cycle up a set of clubs. So where do we get these gems from? You get them in single-player tournaments. You sometimes get them in the international tournaments. In this case, we're going to go on the open course. Um, and you can always get two gems per course. And then there's the one-shot challenges that will also give you more. So let's have a quick look at Eagle City and see if we can get some gems. So here we are, we're on Eagle City. Um, 
there's no way of knowing ahead of time where the gems are going to be, but they're always on one of the holes, and there's a sequence between each of the courses that you can use. So we're going to go and look at the first hole, um, and I normally just play through the first one, just because you can pick up some coins from getting all your um, all your bonuses. So here we are, merrily playing away. Got ourselves an eagle pup. Not sure I've read that right. Oh, no, I missed it by away, didn't I? Never mind. Sure, we can hold the birdie. And so far, we've not heard any little coin drops, we've not seen any coins or anything. But as we run off this green. Just there, you can hear that coin drop. There, you can see it. So what happens is, around certain holes, and if you look up in the bar, it says items found on six. So six appears to be the hole where the items are on this on this course. And what that means is, a there's two gems around every um, course, and they're always on the same hole. Each course though is connected by a sequence. So if it's six on here, it's going to be. Um, 15, sorry, 16 on the next hole, so it increases by one, then it'll be eight, then it'll be 80. So you add effectively nine holes each time. Oh, got a bit lucky there, didn't I? Oh dear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish six off, then I'm going to try and find the gems. The gems will be it in two spots on the course, there's sort of two groups. You'll get a gem in each group. You'll also get a walk token, and you'll usually get a ball or two, sometimes two balls, if you haven't got all of this month's items, you'll also get a little item box with a piece of clothing or whatever in it. So if I'm going to break out of, out of the game, let me just take this pup. Go on, get in. Yeah, there you go. Now we're going to go and look. So you can see them. There you go. There's one. Then you can hear them spawn. Really helpful if you've got a pair of headphones on or separate your stereo speakers out. There's a ball, Sand Viper, but you can hear them drop and spawn. You can also see the little glimmering in the distance where they're going to spawn. You can see that one there, then it drops and spawns. There are some coins. There's a warp token, turf war warp metal, sorry. They will appear in water as well, they're not always um, on land. More coins. Coins, coins, coins. I mean, it's a good way of farming coins as well. But what I really want is the gem. There's a coin there. There's a gem. There okay. go. That gets us to 20. So there's two on every, every course. So what that means is we should be able to now go to the next one of the sequence, which will be Eagle City Inn. And if that was on six, it'll be on the seventh hole which is 16, because it starts at 10. So let's check that out and see if that's true. So we'll just skip straight to 16. Water, and water, over the green, get the car out, off we go. Listen out for the sounds. You can just hear them drop him, spawn and you can see him. So run around, let's pick up the coins, see if we can find the gems. They're sometimes around the back of the tea and grounds, so it's worth having a good route round. That symbol does change to wall as well, where it says 16, it'll change to wall when you've actually got them all. So there's the turf walk token. Sometimes they're hidden in the woods as well, you can see them. They're a little difficult to find. I found if you just stop and just look at the screen, and it sounds stupid. But some of them are kind of hard to see unless you're kind of stationary. But you can hear them spawning, so there's some off to the left. So that's the gap. So they, they appear in two distinct groups. Here's one here. Yeah, you can hear them spawning up there, so there's another group. Few more. There's a ball side spinner. It's a good way of topping your balls up as well. I mean, I've got all the balls. You can buy them for coins in the shop, but 
they're worth picking up. Interestingly, the triple impacts never spawn on the course, or certainly I've never seen them. I've won them in tournaments, and obviously I've won them fishing. If you've not seen my fishing video, I've won two in a row uh, on Pine Hills. But you'll get all the other ball types here. So we can find that second group. There's one. There's one. Oh yeah, there's some in the water up here. If you just look up there, see there's a couple in the water. Sometimes you have to go swimming. Turf warp token. There's a ball as well. Ultra approach. See if we can find that last gem. It's going to be around this somewhere there as well. See that chocobono there. Sometimes that you'll find other players are near them. Um, so it's worth looking to see where other players are running around. Sometimes they can give you a hint as to where these things are. You can kind of just follow them around and pick them up. It's got to be somewhere. Can't quite see it. Any up there? Or check out the back. Certainly with the woods and stuff, it's worth getting right up against the edge. See if you can see. There you go, just get out the trees a bit. They will sometimes spawn right up to the fence, the edge of the course. Doesn't really respect the out of bounds much, so it will, that will definitely spawn them in the out of bounds regions. So don't think they'll be in there. Ah, there you go, that's it. So that's 22 gems. Normally I always keep 10 gems um, for emergency repairs, but I've got 22, so I can use at least 10. We'll do one final upgrade. See what R in the, the RNG gives us this time. I suspect not. You come. So we'll go power again. So this will be our fifth upgrade. Got to give us more than Back one. Give life. us a three. Come on. We've got this. There. <laughs> You're right. There's one. That's how oh, is that it? So. <laughs> So they're seven. Yeah, that's not going to be good, is it? Come back soon. <laughs> well, that concludes. I hope you enjoyed that quick guide. Um, I'll just show you my clubs, and you can see my club skill and what I've got. So I've got two sets of custom clubs, level 21 and level 7 for power, and that gets added to your club skill that your character's got. And there you go. So I hope you enjoyed that guide. If you've got any questions, stick them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. But um, that should get you started. Um, and I'll see you next time for a little bit more of everybody's golf.